Hi, I'm Nikki Renshaw. I'm the Creative Director at San Genève, and I'm here with Joanne Christmas, who is our Down Product Manager. And we're going to talk all things pillows. We make fabulous pillows, and Joanne's been making them for how long? 26 years I've been making pillows. 26 years. So there's nothing that she doesn't know about Down Pillows. So first of all, how do we take care of them? First of all, use a pillow protector. The more layers in between you and your pillow, the better. So use a pillow protector under your pillowcase and wash it often. And we actually do fantastic pillow protectors that which you can buy uh, with your pillows. So apart from the obvious, if you've got a big stain on your pillow that you've you know, spilt coffee or you've sweated so much you've got a stain mark on it, how do we know it's time to wash our pillows? It's time to wash your pillow when it's not puffy anymore. So when they go flat as a pancake, that's the time to wash your pillow. Or it's just looking overall not very nice, that's the time to wash your pillow. One other little test you can do is you can fold it in half. So fold your pillow in half, squish it down, it should pop open nicely. If you fold it in half and it kind of slowly opens, you should start thinking about washing it soon. If you fold it in half and it stays there, it's time. I'm going to do that as soon as I get home and figure out if any of my pillows need to be washed. Okay, so Joanne, we've done the test, we fold it in half and we've realised it really needs a wash and it's got some marks on it. Now, can we put it in the washing machine or does it have to go to the dry cleaner? No, we can wash it at home. Our pillows are designed to be washed at home. The fabric is uh, made specifically to be washed regularly. The first thing you want to do is make sure that there's no deterioration along the edges. Uh, over time, if a pillow doesn't get washed regularly, that can weaken the fabric and it could come apart in the wash. Yeah, nobody wants a whole washing machine full of wet down. I can imagine that wouldn't be great. Uh, now, what kind of washing machine? Can we use a front loader, a top loader? Is there any difference or one that you prefer to the other? It's important to use a front loading washing machine with pillows. When you use a top loading washing machine, the pillow will float along the top. It won't get into the water and get really wet. So use a front loading washing machine. It's better if you can wash two pillows at once. I found that on the rinse cycle, if you don't put two pillows in, sometimes it unbalances and it won't spin. So you don't get all the water out of the pillow. Now, what about detergents? Are there particular detergents that you recommend that you use or can you use anything? Tide free is what we recommend. Uh, we're not getting paid to say that, but it's the one that we use regularly and it works really well. You can also uh, get a detergent or a soap from an outdoor supply store where they have down sleeping bags and down jackets. Um, don't use fabric softeners. And or why not? Fabric softeners coat the down, so they make it flat, and you want your pillow to be puffy. Okay, so Joanne, we've got the uh, we've got the special detergent, so Tide Free or a particular down uh, cleaner that you can get from a sports store. We've got a front loading washing machine. We're all good to go. Are there special instructions that we need to follow to actually wash it properly? Right. So you would put it in your two pillows in the washing machine. Uh, do a quick wash with no soap just to get it wet. Then put your detergent, your uh, pillows in, set it to a permanent press cycle and with an extra rinse and put it through like that. And then after it's been washed and rinsed, you want to set the whole machine again to a wash with an extra rinse with no soap in it. This is to get the uh, soap residue out of the pillow. Okay, so now it's washed. Can we put it in the dryer or do we peg it on the washing line? Dryer. Okay, Absolutely why? drier. Uh, if you hang it up, the down won't dry quick enough. It'll get mildewed and it'll be a clump at the bottom. Oh, down really? really needs the agitation uh, of the dryer and the air to fluff up. So set it for a medium cycle. If you've got dryer balls, throw some dryer balls in there. Uh, after you've done your medium cycle, it should be somewhat puffy. Take it out. You're going to want to push the corners in to get the down out of the corners. Ooh. You get wet clumps in there. And then feel through and see if you can feel any clumps of down and kind of gently push them apart. Throw it back in on low, only low, for another cycle and then pull it out and check it again. Okay, so you've now got nice, clean, dry pillows and you want to store them. How do we store them? So you can store your pillow in the fabric bag that we sell it in. The St. Genève sells their pillows in fabric bags. If you don't have your fabric bag anymore, you could just put it into a pillowcase or, or wrap it up in a sheet if need be. No plastic? No plastic. You don't want to store your pillows in plastic. You don't want to vacuum pack them because that will crush the down. If there's any moisture left in the pillow from after you've washed it and you put it in plastic, it will mildew. 
I think there's just one other thing I want to let people know. When you're washing your pillows, be aware that when you get it wet, it will have a little bit more odor than when it's dry. Kind of like when you take your dog out in the rain, you notice the doggy smell a little bit more than when it's dry. But that smell will And disappear. it goes away. As long as your pillow is completely dry, that smell will go away. Okay, so don't panic if it smells a bit goosey. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much, Joanne. That's been incredibly informative. So enjoy your Saint-Genève pillows. Mm -hmm.